Hey everybody, Ryan Horn from ryanstechtips.com. Today's video, we're going to take a look at how students can turn in assignments on Google Classroom using a computer or a Chromebook. Let's dig in. I'm logged in as a student in this Google Classroom on a computer, and I'm going to open up this assignment by single clicking on the, on the assignment's title. And then I'm going to recommend you click the View Assignment button at the bottom here. When you single click View Assignment, it's going to pull up that assignment in its tab so that you are not distracted by anything else in Google Classroom, only the assignment. Now, you'll notice the teacher has given a little bit of directions here, and they've attached a link for me to open up. Also, over on the right, this is where I turn in my work. And you'll see one of two things, students, when, it's, when you go to the work section on a computer or a Chromebook. You'll either see a document with your first and last name on it up here, and if that's the case, the teacher has made a copy of a template for you to work with. The teacher wants you to open this up and do something with it before you turn it in. Or the other option, you might see that there's no template with your name on it here. It simply says add or create. Let's take a look at that first example. In this one, the teacher wants me to work on this because it's here. So I'm going to single click to open up this template. Now, that opened up and it looks like I'm working with Google Slides in this example. This one, the student is supposed to explain how the cartoon over here represents social mobility during the Industrial Revolution. Students are going to need to enter some text in here. So let's fast forward to say the students entered some text and they're done. Now, how do you turn it in? Do not press the share button. You do not want to press that share button up in the top corner because what will happen? It will get sent to your teacher's email and their email inbox is going to get flooded and overwhelmed and the teacher will get frustrated. Trust me, I know from experience. So students, instead of sharing, don't share this with your teacher. They already have it. You're simply going to navigate back to Google Classroom and once you've added your work, then you can press the turn in button. We'll say, would you like to turn in this attachment that you've recently edited? Yes, I would. So I'm going to single click in. If I need to get that work back, I can click unsubmit if I want to unsubmit the work and make some more edits on it. Because right now I can view this work after I turned it in, but notice I'm in view only mode and I cannot edit it as a student. So to get it back to where I can edit it, again, I would click unsubmit and then I have editing rights again. And when I make changes, I'm going to go ahead and turn that in. Let's take a look at the example if there wasn't a template at the top. So for this example, maybe you need to make a new Google Doc. Students, you're going to go to Add or Create and come down here and open up from blank, a blank version of one of these. Or if you have something already saved in Google Drive, you can attach it here. I'm going to open up a Google Doc. It's going to create a Google Doc. and It's going to have my first and last name on it. And again, don't turn it in because when we single click this, it's blank. I haven't done anything yet. Then I can add my text here. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to add my text. Sorry about that. I can add my text here. Again, don't press the share button. Share bad, turn in good. If you're in a Google Doc, you might have a turn in button. This doesn't come up in slides too often. You can turn it in this way or go back to Google Classroom and turn it in this way. I'm going to click that turn in button right here. So it's that easy to turn in assignments on Google Classroom from the student side using a computer or Chromebook. This is a lot different than turning in assignments or working with assignments with a mobile device like a tablet or a phone. Check the description below if you want to see how to work with assignments using that video using a mobile device. So for Ryan's Tech Tips, I'm Ryan Horn, and I hope that helps when we're talking about turning in assignments. Google Classroom.